In my last video, I went over 10 different use cases of Harpa AI, but in today's video, I'll be going over some SEO and keyword research specific use cases because I really think that's where Harper AI um, really shines in terms of its use cases. So let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't downloaded the Harper AI extension, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. But once you have it downloaded, just go ahead and click on the control A or the alt A button on Windows and the Harper AI extension will pop up. As mentioned earlier, I really think Harper AI shines in terms of its keyword research features, and this allows you to be able to replace expensive keyword research tools like Ahrefs or SEMrush and be able to do some very in-depth keyword research just using this free Chrome extension. So when it comes to doing your keyword research, there's a couple of different ways in which you can go about doing so. You have the keyword report, which will create a keyword report and SEO content from one keyword. You can extract and research SEO keywords from competitors' articles, or you can use the keyword strategy generator, which will provide a detailed strategy for any SEO keyword. So let's go ahead and start with the strategy generator. And we're gonna do this for the keyword, which is the best wireless headphones. So we went ahead and entered the keyword in which we're doing research on, which is the best wireless headphones. And as we can see here, we get a title, we get some FAQs for that specific keyword, and we get some related queries. Now, this is obviously good if you already have the keyword in mind that you wanna go after, but if you don't have a keyword in mind, then there's a couple other prompts in which we can use. But we're still getting some really good information from this prompt. As you can see, we're getting related questions, the long tail keywords. We're getting some variety of keywords in which we can use. Um, so we have best wireless headphones, wireless headphones, noise canceling headphones. We can see here what type of keyword that is, if it's informational or transactional. And we see how many times we need to include that keyword within that article if we would like to rank for that specific keyword. Bluetooth headphones, top rated wireless headphones, and so on. So as you can see here, a variety of different um, keywords and um, ideas in which you can use within your article if you would like to rank for that specific keyword. You can also use the keyword cluster prompt, which allows you to cluster a list of keywords based on their relevance. So again, if we're wanting to get some alternative keywords in which we can use to rank, we can use this prompt. Okay, so this is the content in which we were able to get back. We see the cluster of keywords here, which is kind of similar to the first list in which we got back. But again, um, we're just gathering as much information as you can about that keyword. So then when we're trying to write our content, we can just go ahead and plug this into ChatGPT and write an SEO optimized article. If you're doing keyword research and you need to get some specific information that none of the prompts um, work well for, you can actually go ahead and ask your own question because again, this is based on ChatGPT or GPT-3. So you can ask any question related to keyword research. So for example, I've asked it to give me the keyword volume and difficulty for the keyword best wireless headphones and also a list of a variety of related keywords um, with the volume and the density in um, a table. So as you can see, we've ran that input and we're getting the keyword, we're getting the volume and we're getting the density of that keyword and related keywords. So you can create your own prompt for any research questions that you have when it comes to doing your keyword research or any SEO task that you have, and you'll be able to get that answer back. So again, we asked it to give us information on the best wireless headphones. So we see the keyword, you see the volume, you see the density. Um, for that keyword. And we also see variations of that keyword. This is really good because it allows you to not have to rely or pay for an expensive tool like Ahrefs or Ubersuggest. And you can do all of your keyword research right within ARPA AI. So those are some of the problems that you can use when it comes to keyword research. Now, if you wanted to do some SEO specific research on your competitors, you can open up some web pages here, launch the ARPA AI extension, and then we can use the audit prompt, which will go ahead and audit this page and find out what your competitors are doing that is um, holding their SEO back and will give you recommendations that you can use within your articles so that you can outrank your competitors. So we've selected the SEO audit prompt and we're using this specific page. Okay, so we can see here that it is an English Google quality rater and it's auditing the given web page based upon the EAT and the YM YL principles. So this is the principles by Google. So it's going to go ahead and audit these web pages and tell us what the weaknesses are of these web pages. And then you can use that within your articles to write a stronger article that will outrank some of these top ranked pages. Okay, so we see here for this specific page, the page quality of this page is low. To improve the page quality and make the content more user friendly, follow um, the following recommendations, which is provide a clear and concise introduction, remove unrelated content, add more detail about the author, provide more in-depth reviews, arrange the content in a user-friendly manner, make sure the content matches the user's search intent. And for the H1H 
one tags, I recommend the following um, tags. So we see here, again, we're getting some nice recommendations that we can keep in mind um, if you want to outrank the number one ranking blog post for any keyword. Another really useful prompt is the silo website structure. So this allows you to create a silo structure for a website from a list of keywords. If you're unfamiliar with what a silo is, this allows you to build your topical relevance and your topical authority to allow you to outrank your competitors because you write about a variety of different related topics for a specific niche. If we want to create a website silo structure, we can do it manually, but that would take a little bit of time. So we can actually use this prompt and we can list a variety of different topics and keywords in which our niche is about and it will create a silo for us. So we see here, we need to enter a comma separated list of keywords, leaving empty to parse from page. So let's say we don't have a list of keywords about our topics. We can head over to our trusty friend ChatGPT and we can actually ask it to create that list for us. So I've asked ChatGPT to create a comma separated list of keywords and related keywords for my website that recommends the best new tech to readers. And as you can see here, we're getting a list of keywords that we can use to allow us to build our silo because our silo uh, will allow us to build authority within that space. Okay, so here's a list in which we got back from ChatGPT. Now let's go ahead and enter this into Harpo and Harpo will now be able to create um, silos for us based upon our keywords. Okay, so here we go. We got a nice breakdown of what the format of our website will look like. We see the main pages, we see the subcategories of those pages, um, and we can also then even further break this down to get more subcategories. So for instance, our, we can talk about reviews, then have product reviews, then have video reviews, top picks, we have news and trends, devices. Again, we can um, separate our content by devices in which we're reviewing, technology, learning and, ed and education and so on. So as you can see here, this again gives you a nice format or breakdown of what your website can be about. If maybe you don't have the best idea of how to organize your website, which allows you to be able to build that topical authority and be able to start um, ranking for specific keywords. So again, this is a very, very useful prompt. And if you're now building your website, even if you wanted to um, revamp or reorganize your website, I would definitely recommend um, using this prompt. Another really useful prompt is a six month SEO plan. This allows you to create SEO strategies with the top websites in a given space. Okay, so for this prompt, we need to enter a list of keywords to rank by. So again, I can head over to ChatGPT. Okay, so I've asked ChatGPT to give me a list of keywords that I need to rank for. My website does reviews of the best running shoes for advanced beginners to beginner runners. Okay, so this is a list of keywords in which we got back. Now let's go ahead and paste this into Harpa and see what we're able to get back. Okay, so it's a senior SEO strategist. My team and I will develop a comprehensive six month SEO plan. This is the keyword list. Okay, so this is month one. Our focus area is technical SEO. These are the activities in which we need to do. We need to do an audit. We need to optimize the website speed, implement schema markup, ensure website is mobile friendly, use Google Analytics and search console. Month two is focusing on on-page SEO, keyword research, optimizing existing pages, creating new product pages, using internal linking. Month three is focusing on off-page SEO, which is creating a link building strategy. Reach out to other um, fitness and running websites for guest, po for guest blogging opportunities and backlinking. Encourage customers to leave product reviews. Utilize social media platforms to promote our products and engage with customers. Okay, and month four to six, we're going to do a combination of technical on page and off page SEO strategies. So those would include monitoring your website performance and making adjustments to SEO strategy, continuing to create high quality blog posts, focus on building brand awareness, analyzing and monitoring competitor strategies to stay competitive in the marketplace. Overall, this is a pretty solid plan for you to follow, especially if you don't really have much experience in SEO, you can use this um, tool to allow you to be able to really figure out what you need to do, especially when you're starting off a new website. Um, and even if you do have some experience with SEO, sometimes you can kind of forget some things. So this allows you to really have a good plan and to be able to follow that plan to allow you to grow your website a lot quicker. So those are some of my favorite SEO specific prompts and use cases from Harper AI. As you can see, they're very, very useful and you can use them for a variety of different use cases. You can do keyword research, you can do content strategy research, and you can do overall SEO strategy. So if you guys haven't tried out Harper AI as yet, I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself. It's a very, very good tool. It's currently free. I don't know how long they'll continue to offer it for free. I do imagine that they're going to have a paid plan soon. So if you'd like to use it to its fullest of capacities right now without having to pay, then I recommend downloading this um, extension to your computer. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. 
Until next time, stay well.